Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lisa Bug Cardio Strength Combination Day. We have some ladder training for cardio. So what that means, I have four exercises or calisthenic drills, which we will learn in the warm up. So you'll get comfortable with them. You'll be able to know how to modify them for your body to perform them where you can really get your heart rate up and yet protect any areas of your body you might have concerns with hips, shoulders, things like that. And um, also accounting for impact. So we'll learn those four exercises in the warm up. And then what we'll do for our long sustained cardio segment is the first time we do them in the cardio, we're gonna do them for 30 seconds a slight pause before we move to the next one in between. Then we'll move up to 45 seconds per exercise. We'll move up to 60 seconds. So we can see where this is going, more and more intensity as we reach the peak of class. We'll do them for 75 seconds and then for 90 seconds to finish the last round. So that equals five minutes per exercise. So roughly 20 to 25 minutes somewhere in there for that whole cardio segment. Of course, if you're starting to get fatigued, especially once we get up to that 90 second mark, I want you to feel comfortable kind of backing it down or taking breaks as you need. We'll take some water breaks in there as well. So make sure you have water. So for strength training, I again have my two sizes of hand weights and we are going to do tempo changes today as a technique for working our muscle strength and endurance. We'll work in the super slow tempo, which is four counts and four counts. So really controlling and taking a lot of time under tension for the exercise. Then we'll move into mid tempo, which is two counts and two counts, followed finally by single time tempo, one count and one count. So those really slow ones, we're gonna feel a lot of muscle engagement. In the quicker ones, we're gonna work on control and a little bit more power as we lift and decelerate that movement against gravity. So hopefully that sounds all good for you guys. Let's get some music started and I'll teach you our four cardio exercises so you can feel comfortable with them. So here in the warm up, we're not taking them up full uh, intensity, just learning. So bring up your guard. Soften your knees. Our first cardio exercise is two right jabs and a squat, two left jabs and a squat. So just practice that a few times. And you can just shift your body weight from side to side on the jabs, or you can really do a nice boxer shuffle and get those feet off the ground a little bit. Now an option with the squat is two jumping jacks. So we can also go two jabs, two jumping jacks, two jabs, two jumping jacks. So let's do a couple more on each side. Nice and strong with the arms. You have your guard up on the arm that's not punching. And one more each side. and then relax those arms. Next exercise comes from basketball. So we're gonna do a dribble. I'm gonna dribble with my inside hand and then jump lifting my inside knee. So I'm gonna dribble, dribble and jump and then dribble, dribble and jump. Now you don't have to do the jump, you can just lift your knee. So dribble, dribble, you can reach both arms up and I want you to dribble that basketball with a little bit of force, dribble it. So we're working on a little bit of coordination here as well. You can take as many steps to the side as you have room for in your home. Good. Let's do two more each side, dribble, dribble, reach. One more each side. And rest, that's movement number two, our basketball dribble. Number three, four knees up, right, left, right, left, four hamstring curls back, right, left, right, left. So we work the knees up, 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 curl, back, 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 
back, knees up, 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 curl, back, back. Now you can do anything you want with your arms during this drill. You can also pick it up double time. One, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. So you choose the rhythm. Choose if you want impact. You can also travel forward if you have room at home and then travel back on your curls. I like that one. So come forward on the knees and go back on the curls. Let's do a couple more of each. Four knees, four butt kicks, any tempo you wanna go. Nice job and relax. That's exercise number three. We have one more. We're going to shuffle side to side and do a squat thrust. So you're gonna soften into your knees, do a little side side shuffle, squat and thrust the inside leg back. Do a little shuffle over to the other side, squat, thrust the inside leg back. Now this is a modification for a burpee. So if anybody wants to do a burpee, you can put your hands on the floor, squat, thrust both legs back, jump in. So burpee is an option here for that squat thrust. I know you guys are all going, ah, not me today. But you might try it, who knows? Good. Make sure you get that squat, then thrust your leg back. You can even like touch the ground and thrust one leg back like you're doing that burpee. Let's do one more to each side. Hopefully you're practicing these and finding what works best for you today. All right, let's come back to center. Now before we start, I just wanna take a nice stretch up and a side bend over. Our body should be warm after practicing those exercises. And then turn to this direction and push your heel down and take a calf stretch. So remember in Lisa Bug classes, you're going at your own pace, doing what feels best for you, getting the workout that's right for you today. Let's pull this back leg in a little bit. Straighten the front leg, pick up your toes and stretch down for your hamstring. Woo. I can tell I'm gonna get a good sweat today. All right, come back to center. Take a breath in. This time we'll stretch over to that right side. And then turning this direction to the right, pivot on your feet, press your heel down into the floor to stretch your calf. Let's stretch the upper shoulders as well, the chest muscles. And then step your back foot about halfway in, shift your body weight back, flex the front foot and stretch down for a little easy hamstring stretch. All right, let's pivot around to the front, bend both knees, round your back up like a cat, and finish with one breath in and exhale. Okay, I'm gonna get my timer ready. So our first round of our four exercises is only 30 seconds long. It's two jabs and a squat or jumping jack. Two jabs and a squat or jumping jack. I'll count you down, get ready. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Two jabs. Squat or jumping jack. You pick your pace. It's only 30 seconds. I'll count you down the last 10 seconds. And you can really pick it up. Good job. You don't have to do impact to get intensity. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stop. All right, next exercise is your basketball dribble and a jump shot. Get ready, five, four, three, two, one. Go, dribble the ball, 
and shoot it through the hoop. Good job. 30 seconds. Now you don't have to run. You can walk and just lift up your knee. But I want you to do it with good intensity. Cover whatever ground you have at home. Five, four, three, two, stop. All right, next exercise for 30 seconds. Four knees up, four butt kicks back. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Four knees up, four butt kicks back. Any pace you want to go. You can use those arms up. Arms can go forward. Remember, we can travel forward on the knees, back on the hamstring curls. Almost there for that 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Last exercise. Shuffle to the side, squat, thrust. One or both legs. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, one. Go. Shuffle side, squat, thrust back. Alternating the legs you squat back with. Good job. Now you don't have to shuffle. You can just step side to side. 15 seconds to go. Nice job. Nice job. Last five, four, three, two, stop. Okay, let's just recover with a quick, quick drink of water because we're going into 45 seconds per exercise. Now you've got them down pretty good. 45 seconds, two jabs and a squat or jumping jack. Get ready in five, four, three, two, one, go. Jab, jab, squat or jumping jack. 45 seconds. So you know it's only 15 seconds more than we did before. So you can do this, push it, keep that intensity up. Nice and strong through those arms. Jab, retract. Woo! Excellent, you guys. Keep it coming. You have 15 seconds to go. I'll count you down. Five, four, three, two, stop. All right. Basketball dribble, jump shot. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Dribble the ball, jump it up. Dribble the ball. I want you to switch hands as you're dribbling. So you work that coordination on both sides of your body. Good work. Woo. 45 seconds with or without a little hop. It's great for bone density. If you put a little hop in there, it doesn't have to be big can be one inch off the floor. 15 seconds. Woo. Nice job, everybody. Keep it coming, keep it coming. I'll count you down. Five, four, three, two, stop. All right, third exercise. Four knees up, four butt kicks back. In five, four, three, two, begin. Up. Up, 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 back. Good. Maybe pick up that pace. Adding arms in, adding direction in. 45 seconds. Woo. Boy, when we get up to 90, we're really gonna be working endurance with these movements. 10 seconds to go. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and stop. All right, last exercise. Step or shuffle, 
squat thrust back in five, four, three, two, go. Shuffle, shuffle, squat thrust, shuffle, shuffle. Good. I haven't done any burpees in a while, so I'm gonna get a couple of them in there. Woo. Nice job, nice job. Woo. Keep it coming. We've got a quick water break after this one. It's our fourth exercise. And we have 15 seconds to go. Good job, heart rate should be up. Almost there. Six, five, four, three, two, stop. All right, grab a quick drink of water, a couple swigs but not enough stopping that your heart rate comes down. We wanna keep it up. Okay guys, we are at one minute a piece for each exercise. Two jabs, a squat or jumping jack. Five, four, three, two, go. Jab it out. Squat low or jab it out, two jacks. You can keep it impact free or work that bone density by adding a little bit of a hop in that boxer shuffle. Now say the minute is too much, then I just want you to keep moving but pull back that intensity a little bit. This is okay, just keep going to some degree. Try to move completely through that minute. We have 25 seconds. I want you breathing. I want you staying strong. Woo. Good job. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stop. All right. Next exercise basketball dribble, jump shot. In 5, 4, Three, two, start. One minute. Good job, good job. 30 seconds felt so short. And then when we get up to a minute, it's like, wow. It's really increasing in that duration and in that long-term endurance. Good job, good job. Take as many steps as you have room for at home. Really use that movement, propelling the body forward, very functional. 20 seconds, guys. Woo. Let's try a couple with the jump and a hop if you can do it. Just a little bit up off the ground. Nice job, good for the bones. Last five, four, three, two, stop. Nice work. Okay, what do we got? Four knees up, four butt kicks back. Five, four, three, two, start. Knees up, butt kicks back. Maybe we travel. Good, maybe we run those knees up. Good job, good job. It's nice to try different tempos. You might not to be, be able to run it more than 10 seconds, but give it a try, and then you can bring that intensity and impact back down. Nice job. Keep it going. We have 20 seconds left on the timer. Woo. Stay strong. Almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stop. All right. We're down to our last exercise. Shuffle or step to the right. Squat and thrust with the inside leg. 5, 4, 3, 2, go. 
stay low into your squat when you thrust back. Because this is like a modification of doing that burpee where I jump both feet back onto the floor. So I want you to make it look like a burpee. Get down low, jump that one foot back like you're doing a plank. Good job. Nice. Keep it coming. We're halfway through this one. 30 seconds to go. Maybe we can take up the intensity a little bit. Woo. Nice job. 15 seconds. Stay steady. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stop. All right, here's your drink break. It's a quick one. Just staying hydrated. One minute, 15 seconds. Now we're really getting into that endurance phase. That being said, you might need to pace yourself a little bit more at the start of the exercise. Okay, two jabs, a squat or jumping jack. Five, four, three, two, and go. Good. Woo. Here's where you're gonna get into the zone. Get yourself a rhythm and try to stay on it. Start to think about different aspects of this exercise and fine tune it. Maybe you can make your punches stronger and more powerful. Maybe you can throw in that two jumping jacks every once in a while. Good job, good job. We're about halfway through, 40 seconds to go. Nice. Woo. If you're using the squat, I want you to sit it down. Really use those muscle groups to keep the heart rate up. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Good job, good job. If you're running out of gas, make it smaller, but keep moving or maybe slow down your pace. Last five, four, three, two, stop. Whoa, now we're really getting into that endurance category. Basketball dribble, jump shot. In five, four, three, two, go. Dribble the ball, jump it up. Right into the hoop. Now you're using your triceps to dribble. So I want you to feel the back of your arm as you're pump, pumping it down, nice and powerful. Good job, good job. You're at the 30 second mark, 45 to go. Now, if you're not jumping, do a toe raise. As you come, lift up on the ball of your foot so you're getting your calf to work as you come up. Dribble, dribble, calf raise. That helps with your balance as well. Good job, good job. 20 seconds remaining. How are you doing with your non-dominant arm dribble? <laughs> Woo. Final few seconds. Keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, stop. All right, good work. Four knees up, four butt kicks back. In five, four, three, two, go. Good job. 75 seconds at your intensity, keeping that heart rate up. So speaking of heart rate, I want you to give yourself a little rating of perceived exertion now. Ask yourself how you feel you're working on a scale of one to 10. One being you're sitting on the couch, 10 being so tired you can't go anymore. 
Where are you at in there? Maybe a seven, an eight. Those are good numbers. Anything from a six to a nine, depending on your goals is where you wanna be. Good. Woo. Stay with me. Last and final 15 seconds. Almost there. Six, five, four, three, two, stop. Okay, last exercise at 75 seconds. Step or shuffle, squat thrust with the inside leg. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, begin. Use your space. Good. Maybe when you squat thrust, you can bring your hands down just like you're going to do a plank and touch your fingertips to the floor. Whatever you can do is right for you. I think I just developed a new mantra. Whatever you can do is right for you. And that changes every day, right guys? It sure does. Some days we have those really go get them days. And other days we're like, wow, I can't hardly pick my feet up to do a knee lift. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Come on, keep it up. Woo, we have a water break coming up in 10 seconds. Last five. Four, three, two, stop. Oh man, can we do 90 seconds of each exercise? Say yes, say yes, Lisa. We can do it together as a team. All right, yes, coach, we can do it. Put me in coach. Okay, two jabs a squat or two jumping jacks 90 seconds get ready in five four three two one go good job Woo. now remember if you're running out of steam you can pull back on the tempo pull back on the range of motion but if you can, I want you to keep moving some way. Good job. Now I'm gonna let you know when you are at the one minute mark. So that last 30 seconds, I want you to give me what you got left in the tank if you can on this exercise and really push it to your ability. Good job, good job. It's coming up, it's coming up. All right, guys, 30 seconds to go now. Let's push it. Good job, good job, 20 seconds. Stay strong, keep it up. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stop. Good job. Excellent. So proud of you guys for staying in there for that 90 seconds. Basketball dribble, jump shot. In five, four, three, two, go. Work on your coordination. You can walk it. So if you're like, boy, I really want to push that 30 seconds, but I keep running out of gas, then moderate this first minute. So then you can really rock and roll for that final 30 seconds. Woo! Nice job. You know your body 
better than anyone. Let's maybe set the bar a little higher than you're used to. Keep it coming. Nice controlled dribble. We're almost to that 30 second mark, guys. Keep it up. Get ready. 30 seconds now. Let's go. Woo. Ah, it's such a freeing feeling to be able to really push it. Feel your heart beating, your breathing. Almost there. Last six seconds. Five, four, three, two, stop. Good work, guys. Four knees up, four curls back. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Four knees up, four kicks back. Now, do you want to do more than four? Okay, do more than four. It's just a number. And it goes with the music, but you're probably not worrying about the music. So just do as many as you want. No big deal. Good job, good job. Can you speed it up a little bit? Oh, maybe. Just a little. Save enough if you can for that final 30 second push. You've got 15 seconds until that begins. Good job. Stay steady. It's coming up. Ready. And 30 seconds now. Good job. Really push. 15 seconds. Woo! Yeah. We only have one more 90 second exercise. Keep it coming. Last five, four, three, two, stop. Okay, guys, good work. Shuffle, squat, thrust, or a burpee. In five, four, three, two, go. 90 seconds. Pacing your body. Breathing. Finding a good modification. Nice. There's something for every level. So you get to choose. Where do you want to be? Nice job. Keep it working. Keep it working. Now we are at the very end of our cardio. So I know you're running out of gas a little bit. So here's where you have to dig in. You have to talk to yourself. I can do this. Give yourself some positive feedback, some positive mantras. Okay, guys, ready? 30 seconds now, let's go. Final 30 seconds of the cardio. Good job, good job. We are almost to that finish line. Let's cross it strong. 15 seconds. Woo! Yeah, that hurry should be really pumping. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stop. Nicely done. Keep your body moving as you grab a drink. I'm going to pull my mat over to the floor as we move into strength training. So have your weights available. I'm not going to give you a formal cool down right now because the weight training is gonna do that for us to some degree. And I'd still like your heart rate to be up. So I don't want it to come all the way down. Okay, our first strength training exercise is squats. So you can do body weight 
or you can add some resistance in terms of your hand weights. Whatever you'd like to do today, I'm gonna to go ahead and grab my eight pounders. Find a mid stance squat. So my feet are just outside the width of the hips. Watch you if you're using weights to bring them to your chest. Here's your first tempo. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. This is our super slow pace. And up, four counts each direction. Four, three, two, one. Up, 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 up. Now these super slows give you some time to focus on your form and your alignment. One more. Right into mid tempo, two by two counts. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. Equal weight in your feet, hips go back. We have four more, down, two, up, two, three, two, Last one, now single time tempo. One, 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 one. Good job. Now, if my single time is too fast, you can slow the pace, that's fine. But I don't want you going a lot quicker than what I'm going. That's about the quickest we wanna see with this exercise. Last four, three, two and rest good release those arms by your side next exercise is the upright row so i'm going to bring my hands right in front of the thighs stand up nice and tall you can shift to split position we'll come up four three two one four three two one you can also stand on one foot for balance Four, three, two, one. Slow, pull it up. Make sure your elbows aren't coming up too high. A little lower than shoulder height is ideal. Okay, mid-tempo, two, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Shoulders working. Biceps working, upper traps, four more. Good, three, two. Last one, we have single time tempo. Here we go, one, one. Good job, five, six, Seven, eight more here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, you're standing with your right foot in front. If you weren't, go ahead and do that. Step your left foot back so you're coming into a lunge. We're going to lunge as we curl with our biceps. If you don't want to lunge, you'll just stand in split position and work those biceps. Shoulders back. Let's come down. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Super slow. Four counts each direction. Four, three, two, one, good form, two more, four, three, two, one. One more time. Good work. Mid tempo, two and two, down, two, up, two. Now you'll notice the faster we pick up the pace, maybe the less range of motion you have to do in that exercise. That's okay. Three more. 
two. Last one, single tempo, here we go. One, one. Ooh, this is getting hard with my eights. Keep it going. I'm just gonna go body. Eight more, eight, seven, six. Ooh, last four, three, two, one, relax. Okay, I'm gonna switch out for my lighter weights. I think I kind of hit my maximum on my eight pounders. Okay, so now we're gonna stand on the left leg for split stance. Your option is to do overhead presses for your next exercise or do a second round of upright rows like we did before. Your choice. All right, super slow, we go. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Slow. Good, we have four more super slows. Take your time, maybe work on balance. Three more. Woo, nice and steady, two more. You could be doing those upright rows if overhead presses bother your shoulders. All right, mid-tempo, two and two. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Whoa, I'm feeling these fibers. We have four more. The tempo changes are a great way to build strength. Last two. And one. Single time, here we go. Up, two, three. If it's too fast, you can do singles. This is okay as well. Six, eight more. One, two, three, four more to go. Four, three, two, and one, and rest, hands down. Okay, you have your left foot in front. So you'll step your right foot back into your lunge. That's one option, or stay in split stance. And we're going to work those biceps one more time. Super slow. Four, three, two, one. Now another exercise you can do is front arm shoulder raises instead of the bicep curls. You choose, you can do a short lever exercise or a long lever exercise. All right, let's go mid-tempo, two, two pace. Down, two, up, two. Working on good form. If you need a break, please take it, especially if you're losing form. Four more. Three. Nice job, two. Single tempo, 16 reps. One, two, three. You can do single arms, alternating. Nice job, eight more to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one rest. All right, let's grab a drink. We've been at the weight training for a little bit now. So I want you to rehydrate, so important. It'll also help us for a little bit of a transition. We're coming down to our mat for push-ups, but there might be some of you that would prefer to stay up and do a wall push-up. So if you don't wanna do a push-up on the ground, 
go over to the wall. I'd also like you to have hand weights next to your mat for side shoulder raises from a kneeling position. Okay, so our push-ups from the knees or toes, from the wall, from all fours. We're gonna do the same thing with tempo. So come on down, find your best position. Super slow, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Down, 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 and up, 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 up. Inhale, and exhale. One more super slow. These are challenging. Mid-tempo, two and two. Down, two, up, two. Woo! Here's four, we have four more of this tempo. Now, if you're running out of gas, just come back here, take a break for a couple of seconds, and then you can go back in when it feels better and complete our set. I have single time, here we go. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, five. Our goal is 16. Seven, eight more to finish, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest, stretch. Woo. Breathing here. Okay, if you were up in wall uh, push-ups, come on down to the mat with me. We are going to do a plank drill. Similar, using our four fours, two twos, and singles. So you can do your plank from your hands, from your elbows, from your knees, or from your toes. So find the plank that you like. You can even do your plank up against the wall. All right, I'm gonna lift the right leg up, hold it. Four, three, two, set it down. Four, three, two, left leg, lift four. Three, two, set it down. Four, three, two, right leg, you can be here guys. Three, two, set it down. Four, three, two, take it back. Four, three, two, set it down. All right, we have two, two pace, pick it up. One, two, and down. Two, left, two, down. Two, right, two, down. Two, left. Single tempo, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right. Lift. Good job. Choose that plank that works for you. We have eight more. Right. Left. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And rest. Drop those knees. Woo. Good plank drill. Okay. We have kneeling arm raises. What's so good about kneeling? It takes our legs out of the exercise, makes us work our core a little more. It's a little different way to work balance. So come all the way up, bend your elbows any amount, side lateral raises, slow, four, three, two, down. Slow, up. And down. Two more, super slow. Take your time, good posture. If this hurts your knees, you can always stand up on your feet. That's no problem. Feel free to do that. Mid tempo, two and two. Up, two, 
down, two. Nice job. Woo! Four more mid-tempo. Three more. Nice job. Two. One. Single tempo, just eight. One, two, three, four. Last four, three, two, one, and relax those weights down. Okay, it's time to move into chest fly. So we're gonna come down onto our back. I want you to pick the weight that you can do to do a chest fly, opening and closing. You can bend your elbows any amount with this as well. All right, nice position on your back. Feet can be on the floor or knees in tabletop. Super slow. Four, three, two, one. Close it up. Three, two, one. Slow. And close. Inhale, out. Exhale, close. One more time. All the way up, mid-tempo, two by two. Out, two. Up, two. We have five more, mid-tempo. Four, and three. Now when we get to single time, guys, we're not gonna come all the way up. We're just gonna come halfway up. Here's your single time, go. Out, halfway up. Two, halfway up. Three, halfway up. Four, five, really work those pecs. Six, seven. Give me eight more of these. Last eight, halfway up, seven, six, five, four, breathe, abdominals working, two, and one, and rest. Drop your feet, set your weights down. Okay, we're gonna do a basic crunch, but you can modify this any way you'd like. You can add knees up, knees and table. I'm just going to do the basic crunch with my feet on the floor with my fingertips behind the back of my head to support my neck a little bit. Elbows are out. Abs are engaged. Super slow tempo coming up. Four, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one. Slow up. Two, three, four, down. Two, three, four, two more. One more super slow, take your time. Mid tempo, two by two, it's up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down, six to go. Working that rectus abdominis. Exhale up, four, and three. Two more at this pace. All right, guys, single time, 16 reps. One, two, three, four. Try to relax your head into your fingers so your neck doesn't tense. Seven, eight more to go. One, two, three, looking good. Four, three, two, and one, and rest. Relax your head to the mat. Lengthen your legs out. Take a nice full body stretch, reaching up, stretching through those abdominals a little bit. Ah. 
And then we've got a little bit of flexibility to round out our class. Let's come up to a seated position. Roll yourself over, come on up to sit. All right, bring one leg out. Little hamstring stretch with a hip release. Reach towards that foot or use your yoga strap. Now we did a lot of stretching for hamstrings yesterday, so I just want you to just lightly stretch here, just to lengthen those muscles back out. All right, come up and then take this leg that's straight, swivel it around so it's next to you, and you're in a little mermaid, and lean your body forward over this bent knee that's in front to, to stretch out your glute. Ah, the breath is slowing now. You're in that recovery phase, heart rate is coming down. And then press yourself up. Grab hold of this ankle next to you and pull your knee back to stretch your quadricep. So we're opening up through this hip flexor and down the front of the leg. If it's difficult for you to grab your ankle, just keep your leg down and slightly lean your body back a little bit to stretch that muscle. All right, as you come up, put this right hand on the floor, open out here, take a chest expansion, and then thread your arm underneath and twist and hold, look behind you. Inhale, reach it back up, chest expansion and rise up. Let's do all those stretches on the other side. So this leg will swing around to the front. The right leg will extend long and we'll reach towards the foot. I'm glad I could teach for you today. I had kind of a weird thing happen. I fell into a sinkhole. I know I was leaving the grocery store and I'm looking at my receipt, you know, checking it out, making sure it looks right. So I'm not really paying attention to where I'm walking. And uh, there was a cone that was in the sinkhole turned upside down. So the tip of the cone was in it and I didn't notice it. And I took a step with my left foot and went right down in the sinkhole that went clear up to my knee. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's take this leg, bring it around to the side, fold over that bent knee. Take a nice modified pigeon. I'm gonna bring our music down a little bit here while you're stretching. So I was like, ooh, that's gonna leave a mark, but I think I'm no worse for wear today, which is good. It must be all that hard work we're doing in Lisa Bug classes, keeping the bones strong, protecting from injury. Okay, come on up. Grab that ankle out to the side, lift your leg up and pull it back. Quad stretch. Or leave that knee down, just lean your body back. If you haven't had a chance to look for the emails, yes, yes, yes. So make sure you take a look at that. All right, release that leg, take your left hand out, open up into that chest expansion, pulling that arm back to open up the pectorals, and then reach underneath, look behind you, twist. twist. And open back out, and release it down. Nice job, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Great work. I hope you worked hard and had a good time. Um, I do have a client afterwards, but I can stay and chat for maybe about three minutes or so. So if anybody can stay with me, that would be fantastic. And I'll see you next week in classes. Thanks, everybody.